Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Baked Lore and More, where we comb through the annals of history with a fine-toothed comb and a generous dollop of humor. I'm your host, Steph, here to guide you through the twists and turns of the past, one strand at a time. Today, we're tackling a topic that's as layered as an onion, as controversial as pineapple on pizza, and as enduring as those jeans you swear will come back in style. The mullet, yes, folks, we're diving deep into the world of business in the front, party in the back. So grab your hairspray, tease that fringe, and let's unravel the hairy history of the world's most infamous haircut. It's time to let our hair down and explore how the mullet cut its way through the fabric of time. Are you ready to mull it over? Let's roll. Welcome back to our time machine on Baked Lore and More. Today we're setting the dial to ancient Greece and Rome, the birthplace of democracy, philosophy, and you guessed it, the mullet. That's right, this hairstyle is older than some of the world's oldest wines. Picture the scene in ancient Greece. You've got Homer, not Simpson, but the legendary poet narrating the Iliad. Amidst tales of heroes and their valiant deeds, there's a group of warriors called the Abantes. These guys were known for their unique hairstyles, short at the front and long at the back, essentially rocking the first known mullets. It wasn't just about looking good in battle, it was a practical choice. A short front kept their vision clear during a fight, while the long back provided some much needed neck protection. It was like saying, I'm ready to fight, but I also care about fashion. Now, let's zoom over to ancient Rome. Here, the mullet was a symbol of the rebellious youth, particularly among the fans of chariot racing. Imagine the Roman equivalent of a football match, with the crowd cheering wildly, and the most passionate fans sporting mullets as a sign of their undying support and a touch of nonconformity. These weren't just hairdos, they were statements of the allegiance and a subtle middle finger to the status quo. But the mullet wasn't confined to Europe. Let's take a quick flight over to the Native American tribes. For them, the mullet was more than just a style. It was a spiritual symbol, a representation of their deep connection with nature and the cosmos. Wearing their hair long at the back was like a symbol of their strength and connection to the spiritual world, a way to carry the wisdom of their ancestors with them. Even one of America's founding fathers, Ben Franklin, might have been an early mullet enthusiast. Known for his wisdom and inventiveness, Franklin also sported a hairstyle that was business at the front, party at the back. Imagine him drafting the Constitution or flying his kite, all the while rocking a hairstyle that would centuries later be seen as a fashion statement. In summary, the ancient mullet was a hairstyle that transcended cultures and continents. It was the choice of warriors, rebels, and perhaps even philosophers. It combined practicality with a dash of style, making the statement that said, I'm ready for whatever life throws at me, in battle or at a party. This hairstyle was a silent witness to history, adapting and evolving, but always maintaining its essence of rebellion and individuality. Fasten your seatbelts as we hit the accelerator and zoom into the 1980s. The heyday of the mullet, an era where this iconic hairstyle wasn't just a trend, it was a cultural phenomenon. The 80s were a wild ride of neon colors, synthesizer music, and big, bold fashion statements, with the mullet reigning supreme as the ultimate symbol of cool. Let's set the scene. The mullet was everywhere, from the glam rock stages to the neon-lit streets of downtown. Rock legends and pop icons embraced this unique style, making it synonymous with the rebellious spirit of the times. Picture David Bowie as Ziggy Stardust, with his fiery red mullet, strutting on stage and captivating audiences. Or Billy Ray Cyrus, the country music heartthrob, whose mullet became as famous as his catchy tunes. Their mullets weren't just a part of their look, they were integral to their personas, a declaration of their individuality and defiance of conventional norms. But it wasn't just celebrities who were rocking the mullet, it became a staple in various subcultures each adopting and adapting the style to fit their identity. In the lesbian community, the mullet was more than just a hairstyle. It was a powerful statement of nonconformity and a symbol of empowerment. It represented a break from traditional gender norms, a way for individuals to express their identity and sexuality with boldness and confidence. The mullet also infiltrated mainstream fashion 
teens and young adults across the globe embraced this style, each adding their unique twist to it. The beauty of the mullet lay in its versatility. It could be punk rock with spiked layers, country style with flowing locks, or chic and sleek for the fashion forward. It was a hairstyle that allowed people to express different aspects of their personality. Business in the front, party in the back. Yet, the mullet's impact went beyond just fashion. It was a sign of the times, an embodiment of the 80s ethos of freedom, self-expression, and breaking free from the shackles of the previous conservative decades. It was a time when people were exploring new boundaries in music, art, and lifestyle, and the mullet was right there with them, a faithful companion on this journey of exploration and expression. In essence, the mullet in the 1980s was more than just a hairstyle that adorned heads. It adorned a culture, a generation that was bold, brash, and unapologetically itself. The mullet was a statement, a cultural icon, and for many, a cherished memory of a time when the world was learning to let its hair down and rock out. As we cruise into the 1990s, our beloved mullet faces an identity crisis. The era of grunge, minimalist fashion, and sleek chic rolls in, and suddenly, our flamboyant hairstyle finds itself on the wrong side of cool. What was once the emblem of edgy style became the butt of jokes, the hairstyle equivalent of a walk of shame after a wild party. The 90s saw a drastic shift in cultural aesthetics. The bold and flashy gave way to the subdued and understated. Our mullet, the glorious crown of the 80s, was now viewed as a relic, an outdated remnant of a bygone era. It became the target of sitcom jokes and comedy sketches, a symbol of how not to style your hair. The phrase, business in the front, party in the back, turned from a cool mantra into a punchline. The mullet, once worn with pride by rock stars and rebels, was now a marker of being out of touch, a fashion faux pas. But the story of the mullet is not just one of rise and fall. It's a tale of resilience and enduring charm. Despite the mockery and the eye rolls, the mullet refused to bow out. It clung to the fringes of fashion, a stubborn reminder of a wilder, frayer time. The mullet became a symbol of nostalgia, a quirky throwback to the 80s. It found its place in retro parties, costume events, and amongst those who revel in irony and vintage charm. This persistence speaks to the mullet's unique place in our cultural history. It was never just a haircut, it was a statement a lifestyle, a form of self-expression. The mockery of the 90s only added another layer to its legend. The mullet as the underdog, the rebel that refused to die. It became a symbol of a certain fearless approach to life and style, a nod to those who dare to be different, even in the face of ridicule. The mullet's journey through the 90s is a testament to the cyclical nature of fashion and culture. What's in today might be out tomorrow, but it always leaves a mark a story to be told. The mullet, with its highs and lows, became a character in the narrative of modern fashion. A character that, despite its setbacks, remained undeniably iconic. Segment 4, The Mullet in Today's World, expanded. Now, let's fast forward to the present, where the mullet is making a surprising, yet undeniable comeback. It's like watching a beloved classic film get a modern remake, familiar yet fresh, nostalgic yet new. In this era of individual expression and social media trends, the mullet has emerged from the shadows, shaking off the dust of mockery to once again bask in the spotlight of fashion and pop culture. The mullet's revival is a fascinating study in style evolution. It's no longer just the hairdo of 80s rock stars and country singers. It has been adopted and adapted by new generations. The modern mullet has been seen swaggering down fashion runways, gracing the pages of style magazines, and even making appearances in the world of sports and entertainment. It's become a symbol of retro cool, embraced by those who revel in its ironic charm and by those genuinely drawn to its unique blend of business and party. In this newfound era of mullet appreciation, there are a few standout ambassadors and none quite as memorable as comedian Theo Vaughn. Theo's mullet isn't just a hairstyle, it's a living, breathing entity with its own personality. Picture this, his hair, a cascading symphony of business in the front, morphing into a waterfall of party vibes at the back. Each strand seems to dance with its own rhythm, a wild yet calculated tangle 
of rebellion and charisma. Theo's mullet is more than just hair. It's a storytelling device, an extension of his comedic persona. Imagine each lock of hair infused with a sense of humor, each curl holding a punchline, ready to unleash a torrent of laughter. It's as if his mullet is not just accompanying his jokes, but actively participating in them. A silent comedian, whispering its own witty commentary. And then there's the country music sensation, Morgan Wallen, who once proudly sported a mullet that could only be described as legendary. It was a mullet that spoke volumes, a blend of Southern charm and rock star flair, until, like a lost legend of yore, it was gone. His departure from the mullet life left fans nostalgic, reminiscing about the days when his hair epitomized the very essence of the mullet spirit. Today's mullet is a versatile chameleon, adapting to various styles and personalities. From edgy and punk to sleek and sophisticated, the mullet has proved its ability to transcend stereotypes and time periods. It's a hairstyle that boldly declares independence from conventional trends, a celebration of individuality, and a nod to the fearless fashion explorers of the past. As we wrap up this hair-raising journey through the mullet's storied past and its dynamic present, it's clear that this is no ordinary hairstyle. It's a cultural icon, a symbol of times gone by, and a testament to the enduring human spirit of self-expression. From its ancient roots to its modern-day resurgence, the mullet has danced through the ages, adapting, evolving, and captivating. Thanks for tuning in to Baked Lore and More. If you've enjoyed this rollicking journey through the mullet's past, present, and future, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your mullet musings in the comments. Stay tuned for more deep dives into the quirky, untold stories of history. Until next time, keep your humor sharp, your style bold, and maybe, just maybe, let that hair in the back grow out a little. This is Steph, signing off. Stay groovy, stay bold, and remember, in the world of hair, the mullet reigns supreme.